walk through the valley of the shadow of finale. I will never feel no fear. First the reaper gotta catch me. I don't care who got the next crown. I'm the true and living right now. Thought you lived to see my last breath? Go ahead and put your best down. Nah. Run with the wolves and we unify. Yes. Hungry enough to eat you alive. Yes. We never break in formation. Go. I live and die for this crew of mine. Been to the bottom, dehumanized. Yes. Found my divinity through the fire. Yes. Pushed through it all and I stood tall. Uh -huh. That's cause a legend can never die. For the long run, you'll fade away before I'm done. Like it or not, I'm at your door. Uh -huh. Open the gate, cause it rock nah, come. Nah. You undefeated with no scars. You must have came here to earn some. Before me, you never knew no loss. Nah. I'm happy to give you your first one. I came to go for the gusto. Yes. You in the trench with a cutthroat. Yes. Bring me your best, I'ma crush those. Ballin' like I took a blood oath. Yes. Feed off the pressure that's in the air. The smell of it thicker than gun smoke. Yes. I persevere when the end is near. Watch as my destiny unfolds. Surrounding us, travel 2,000 kilometers to hang out with us. What's up, danger? What's up, danger? Hey, getting no they doubted us, makes it that more marvelous. Sign them up, cause I'm in this vibe, and I get synonymous. What's up, danger? Hey, don't be a stranger, cause I like high chances that I might lose. I like it all on the edge, just like you. Hey, I like tall buildings so I can leap off of them. I go hard with it, no matter how dark it is. I'm insane. I could keep the world balanced on my nose I had a slumber party with all my foes Now I wear them like a badge on all my clothes If I'm crazy, I'm on my own If I'm waiting, it's on my phone If I sound lazy, just ignore my tone Cause I'm always gonna answer when you call my phone Like, what's up, danger? Like you, ay, I like tall buildings so I can leap off of them. I go hard with it no matter. 
that's a danger Like what's up danger
Heard the masses talking whispers. Situation getting tenser. Ever since I had the vision, when I speak, my people listen. We can start a new tradition. All the children, men and women, right now, gather around and burn it down. We're gonna start the kingdom from scratch. Far too many take advantage, but it ain't gonna happen like that. And time and time again, I wake up and enemies might attack. Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Mustang Stadium, live here at Dallas Center Grimes High School in Grimes, Iowa. John McDermott alongside my partner, Sean Angus, as we get set for DCG Boys Varsity Soccer as they take on the ADM Tigers, rivals to the west. Uh, ADM comes in 5-1 and one and uh, sitting atop some of those early rankings that we've seen. Not, not necessarily atop, but in that mix of the top group. 5-1 and one so far on the season. They're only lost to the Gilbert Tigers, a 3-0 defeat. But uh, wins over Des Moines East, Waverly Shell Rock, Van Meter, and Perry. And uh, DCG with an opening loss to the Johnston Dragons, a 4-1 defeat there. But then a uh, couple lopsided victories against uh, Oskaloosa and Des Moines Christian, and then a 3-0 victory over Pella uh, earlier this week on Tuesday night as DCG's kind of right in the ship since losing to the defending 4A state champs. But uh, about a minute and a half away from starting lineups being introduced here at Mustang Stadium. And Sean, health-wise, DCG's sitting in pretty good shape. Uh, one yes. of the starters had a, had a little incident today, possibly a broken toe, but it's going to give it a go tonight. And uh, a couple, you know, we kind of hear it with ADM too, a couple guys playing through some injuries tonight, which, you know, I said that it's that time of yep. the year where those, those injuries start to kind of not necessarily pile up, but uh, you try You're and gonna avoid get some them, of that. In, in the game of soccer, you play 19, 18, 19, 20 games. And you're going to see a, an injury here and yep. there, and both teams are going to battle that yep. a little bit from now on. So We've got uh, um, senior Nick Kessler that's dealing with a little bit of a concussion. He's one of the first guys off the bench. Um, but, yeah, then uh, um, Jack Every with the toe incident that happened uh, Maybe it was yesterday or something. Uh, earlier this maybe morning. Maybe earlier this morning. So we'll see. Uh, see how see how he hobbles along out there. So, but uh, yeah, this one's always been a good matchup, uh, ADM, and so we've we've kind of had the better of them here the last few seasons. But uh, this should be this should be a pretty formidable game right here tonight. Yeah, last year I think uh, DCG picked up the win at ADM, and I believe this group of seniors is three and zero against ADM in their varsity career. But uh, We'll see if they can make it a, an even 4-0. Oh yeah. But it's, nice. it's, it's, a team it they, it's a team they could very likely see later on in the season. Without as a doubt. I think ADM's got a good core group of players that could carry them into the postseason, into the state tournament if, if things kind of go their way. But uh, without a doubt, good early season test for both of these teams in, in, in the 3A field. Now let's meet the starting lineup. Yeah. The starting lineups here so we can give them to you kind of as in the they goal. announce them. And Number you'll one, see the starters. Owen. And we'll start with ADM. And it looks like number one. Who do we got? Number three. Oh, I don't have a number one. So we'll, we'll bypass the keeper for now and get a name on him. But uh, Mason Tol 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 Tolari, Tom Hook, number four, Carson K, number five, Brock Richardson, number seven, Peyton Meyer trotting out there, number 10, Kale Orban. Ryland Stein Smith, the senior, trotting out there. Number 11, wearing the captain's armband. Owen Kirk, number 14. Brady Gustafson, Owen Evans. And number 31, Ethan Ash, rounds out the starting 11 for the ADM Tigers. Now we'll switch over to the home DCG Mustangs. 
And the uh, goalkeeper will be announced first for DCG, it looks like, and that's going to be Jaden Mendia, the sophomore goalkeeper. First team all-conference goalkeeper last year as a freshman. And uh, Jaden played a lot of club ball between freshman year and sophomore year. Take a step forward in net for DCG. AJ Angus being introduced, senior left back, or check that, right check right back, senior. Colin Modernock plays out on the wing. Brogan Fuller plays opposite of Modernock. And Tate McDermott in the middle, central midfielder for DCG. Ben Jackson in the middle, kind of on top of the formation. Cyrus Kosravi, who right now leads DCG in goals scored. And a quick shout out to his grandfather, Reza, who's watching down in Arizona. We heard through the grapevine. Okay, very nice. There's Jack Every, broken toe and all, trotting out there in the starting 11. Canton Notterman, the starting left back. And Almin Islamovic, who scored in the Pella game. Plays that holding midfield spot alongside Every. And the man in the middle that holds things down on that back line, Nathan Scholl, the six foot four center back for the DCG Mustangs. He's also a senior. And that's your starting 11 for head coach Colin Lane and the DCG Mustangs. We'll take a quick, uh, well, we'll keep it here, but we'll play the national anthem here. And then we'll be underway with the opening kick between DCG and Adel DeSoto Minburn. All right, we're set to go here. Mustang Stadium, Grimes, Iowa. The scene here is DCG hosting ADM, the Tigers. Five and one, like we mentioned so far on the season for ADM, three and one for DCG. We mentioned the leading goal scorer for DCG, Cyrus Kosravi, so far with seven. And uh, the leading goal scorer for ADM, he's got half of the 12 goals that ADM has scored this year, and that is Peyton Meyer, the senior. He wears number seven. And uh, just from from the scuttle before the game and the players and stuff, uh, Meyer, I, I believe, was an All-State player last year as a junior. And uh, he was dinged up in the last game, but it's going to give it a go tonight. Not sure he's at 100%, but we'll soon find out. Looks like ADM's going to run four across the back. DCG plays more of a three three-person back line, and then they've got those two holding midfielders, Islamovic and Jack Every, kind of standing in front of those two. And it's going to be ADM in their white road uniforms to start things off with the opening kick, and Owen Kirk will get us underway here as soon as he hears the whistle, and there it is, and we're underway. And right away plays Meyer, and now they'll send it to the back line. Touch there for Carson K, another quality player on that back line for ADM. All the way back to their keeper now. And back to the right foot of K. K's going to look long and try to play it down the sideline. Nice job by Angus to get ahead on it. And Every controls it over to Notterman. Notterman will switch it to the opposite side for Fuller. Back for Canton Notterman. Now down line. Nobody home there for the Mustangs as they give it away. 
And now ADM with a little possession in the midfield. Ball finds the foot of Olthen. And now it's Notterman. Nice step there by Notterman to keep it in bounds. Now oh. plays it off for Jackson. Oh, finds nice. Fuller. Fuller oh. dispossessed on the far side. And oh, nice turn. Little just lost his footing. I thought maybe a foul by Kosravi there, but they play on. So both teams kind of possessing a little bit in yeah. the midfield, but uh, not a lot doing for either team offensively. Here's Modernock. Comes into the middle. McDermott kind of replaces him on the right wing. Now Both teams are very calm on the ball early on as they're kind of trying to figure it out. Feeling each other out here yeah. a little bit. Angus plays a ball. Nice job for Modernock, who has stayed central. And that ball kicked out of bounds. And they're going to say off the foot of Modernock, so it'll be a throw for ADM. Just about two minutes gone by here, and... Like we said, both teams just kind of easing into this one. Seems like they're trying to kind of figure out the attack of the opposite team. So the throw in here down near the corner for ADM. And ball played in and a little pressure applied. And back to that center back, Nathan Scholl, who swings it over for Notterman. Notterman finds Kostravi in the middle, plays it outside for Fuller. Fuller has it. Taken off his right foot, but Kosravi right there to win it back. Slides it back for Notterman. Back to Kosravi in the middle. Dispossessed there. ADM has it. Looking to attack. Islamovic tries to slide tackle. Meyer eludes him. And the ball played back to the hands of Jaden Mendias. And the uh, Mustangs will reset. So neither team so far have really any, any sort of threat scoring-wise. There's a long ball played up top. ADM wins it back. They play it back for Carson K. Ball slides over opposite to Tom Hook. Hook wearing the captain's armband on this left side. Now Stein Smith has it poked away by McDermott. McDermott there wins it. Nice, now McDermott nice the other way finds Jackson. Jackson Looking for slides it over to Kostravi. Kostravi to Modernock, outside for McDermott. Here's McDermott, cuts it back. McDermott loses footing, now into the box, tangled up. Dangerous play there. Here's a shot on goal, but deflected or blocked by ADM. Modernock does a nice job to block it. McDermott sends it high into a group of people. Now it's Fuller. Fuller, his pass taken away, but Fuller does a nice job to get back on the ball, and now here's McDermott with it. Good pressure by DCG to, to keep it Jackson up. Jackson on his right foot, swings it back into Ooh. the middle, but nicely done there. ADM deflects it out, and now it's the counter the other way for yeah. the Tigers. Good pressure by DCG there. And that ball drifts out of bounds, so it'll be a throw in for Angus on the near side. Tries to find McDermott. Jackson has it on his foot. Modern knock will overlap Jackson, and that ball taken away. Jackson deflects it out, so it'll be a throw for the Tigers. So DCG with a little action on their offensive yeah, end. With, yeah, definitely. And uh, Here's the throw in. McDermott has it on his foot, looks for, looks middle, but back to Angus, not a lot there. Now Angus will have a throw in well inside the Mustang offensive half. Jackson kind of posted up, has it on his foot. Here's McDermott. McDermott sends it middle for Every. Every tries to swing it out to Fuller, but kind of went with his right foot. I wonder if he hasn't tested that left foot yet. And this ball. A nice header by Scholl. Headed back to Notterman. Scholl doing a nice job on the back line there for the Go. Mustangs. Now Fuller. Fuller down the side, gives it up for Kosravi. Kosravi finds McDermott. Now he'll switch it over for Angus. Boy, the, they're moving the ball well, side to side. Angus kind of slides up, looks for, oh, nice job there. by Modernock. Modernock he might get near that 18-yard oh. area and tried to slide it through for Jackson, who was making an angled run. This is probably the, eight, the ADM boys are probably going to be 
outside of Johnson, definitely the toughest back line that they've uh, they've had to deal with yet this season. Here's a ball played a little uh, bit past the foot of Meyer. Good opportunity there, squandered by ADM, and now it's Kosravi fielding it back to the goal. Gives it off McDermott. He's got a little space. McDermott poked away from behind. Looks like Meyer still kind of yeah. not 100% there by the looks of things as he kind of is playing with his right leg there after poking yeah. that one away. Stein Smith has it right near midfield, but he'll give it off to his left back. Carson, or no, check that. That's number three, Tom Hook. And the throw-in comes in. Stein Smith uh -oh. sends it middle and well defended there. Notterman right there. Notterman will take a couple of touches, finds okay. McDermott. There we go. McDermott with some space and plays Kosravi. Kosravi nice runs on to it. Kosravi near the 18-yard penalty area. Now it's Modernock looking to cross it in. And the ball sent wide and out of bounds by ADM, so it'll be a deep throw here for DCG. A couple really nice quick counters on DCG after uh, – ADM kind of challenged a little bit up top and then just to bring it right back down the field. Modernock keeps it on his foot through the defender. Now Modernock crosses it in, ball bouncing. Oh. Ball hit it, and it, it, nearly. Oh. He did catch it that, clean. Almost caught that far post. A yeah. miss hit there by Jackson, but almost good enough. Great idea. So seven and, seven and change into this one, and the best chance there for DCG goes just left of the far post. So Those bicycle okay. kicks look great when they have they're tough. They're tough to connect with. Yeah, but Jackson would try. Didn't get a solid shot on it, but certainly just wide of the target. There's a little pressure applied and the ball's gonna scoot out of bounds. And it looks like like I said, I think Peyton Meyer kind of working at less than hundred percent, just kind of seeing how he's moving out there in the midfield. He's a really athletic Strong player for ADM. Here's Jackson. Jackson has it taken away. There's Meyer. Yeah, good little Back to his there. back line, a little pressure on the keeper, and he'll send it deep down the middle, and Scholl will head it to McDermott. Good first touch there by Tate, and now Tate will play it back for Angus. Angus back to McDermott. McDermott just kind of surveying the scene. Sends it to Jackson. Jackson sends it wide for Fuller. Fuller on the left foot. Some space. Fuller. Oh, they're closing on him pretty quick. Yep, that was Ethan Ash over there taking care of that one. Now McDermott takes it away. And McDermott's going to send it wide for Angus, but past Angus out of bounds. Now Stein Smith runs on to it. Angus just trying to contain there. Left-footed shot wide of goal and ADM with nice their first good, there. good opportunity. Yeah. So both good teams have had a set by number 11 there on the build there. Yeah, Let's that's get a shot off there. Ryland Stein Smith, a four-year player for ADM at the varsity level. Looks like they've given the captain's armband to most of their seniors. Virtually all of the seniors, it yeah. looks like. Ryland, one of those guys. McDermott flicks it on, header. Jackson can't control it though, and every nice That's job foul. getting in the way of Meyer, and they do call the foul. Meyer whistled for the foul there. It'll be a free kick, and I believe Scholl will take this one. I'll just, I'll probably just play it slightly out of the back. There we go. Yeah, just a little touch over to Notterman. Now Islamovic. All means just so calm on the ball back there. Angus with plenty of space gives it back for Almin. Almin has it poked away from behind by Meyer. Now Meyer. Scholl does a nice job to step in front. Modernock. McDermott in the middle. A lot of space right. there for Tate. Oh. And Mo Modernock runs on to it. Modernock nudged off the ball there. And, and that oh. ball deflects over to Fuller. Someone might get a shot. Now it's Kosravi. Kosravi, a left-footed hit there, and that was on frame. The keeper with a nice save. What a quick strike by Cyrus there. It looked like he was maybe just going to take another dribble. Next thing you know, he just unloaded it. So a nice save.
for the keeper from ADM. Still working on the name for the keeper. It wasn't uh, not listed for us. Not listed on the roster as number it. one. There's a throw in, and that was last touch by DCG. Stein Smith thought about throwing it in. Instead, he hands it back again to Tom Hook. So Hook will throw it in for the Tigers. Poked away there. Modernock did a nice job to get his foot in there. Wins it back. Scholl now swings it out wide for Notterman. Notterman with some space. Here's Islamovich back for Notterman. And DCG having a little trouble navigating through that midfield. They're not really pressuring Notterman with the ball. They're kind of taking everything away. Yeah, they're backing up and just trying to clog up that middle and then trying to get a quick counter if they can get if they can get a stab at the ball. Now Fuller is going to send it in from deep. And that ball headed kind of straight up into the yeah. air, a dangerous area. Yeah. Modernock brings it down with the left foot and sends it back for Angus, who's worked his way in. And the ball off a defender for ADM and now cleared out of there to Scholl, the center back, chests it down. Now Scholl works his way into the attack, trying to get it to Fuller and cleared out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for Fuller on the far side. A little over 12 minutes gone by here at Mustang Stadium. Both teams have had a chance. Shot on goal. A couple shots on goal for DCG. One was a quality save from the Tiger goalkeeper. And that ball cleared out. Notterman chests it down, keeps it on his left foot. What a battle over there. Now it's Islamovich over to Angus. Angus is going to send it in. Jackson there, Ooh. and here comes the keeper out for another. Nice save coming off of that line. Comes out and secures it. Jackson saw the keeper coming, decided not to pick up a foul. Or stick his head out there and get it taken off. Here's Modernock. Wins there we it go. Back. Oh. oh, well read, but Kostravi yeah. oh, nearly came away with it. And this ball sent deep. Scholl's going to run it down, plays it back for Mendias, the keeper. He's going to send it high out towards midfield at Fuller. Fuller will head it forward for Kosravi. Good first touch by Cyrus. Cyrus working around the defender. Oh. Tried to find McDermott down the middle of the field. Now they'll work it back all the way to the keeper. Pressure put on him, so he's going to send it out near midfield. And Notterman going to run it down and secure it. Back for the keeper, Jaden Mendias again. And here's Every, first touch. Taken away though. Kostravi oh. checks back, wins it back. Now it's McDermott. Oh. McDermott's looking for oh. Jackson. He just didn't get enough air yeah. on it. A little more height on that one. That gets over and the DCG top. DCG gives it we away, and now it's McDermott again. McDermott keeps it on his foot. McDermott threw a couple of players. Oh. Have left, a shot. Left foot for McDermott. Into the box now. Crosses it over. And a goal. Way to stick with it, Tate. Kosravi picks up goal number eight as McDermott went around Woo. a couple different defenders. Two or three. And the Mustangs on the board. They lead at 1-0 at the 25-minute mark here at DCG Stadium. Well, the strength of Tate's game is just having that ball stick to his foot as he's going side to side through the middle. And it, it paid off as he just kept that attack going and then just found Cyrus right there for a nice finish. Well, there was some discussion. Looked like one of the ADM players not happy about something, but I didn't see anything in terms of any sort of offside or anything that could have been could have negated the goal. Maybe just upset with one of the they teammates had, that they had two or three times to take the, try to dispossess Tate and couldn't get it done. How good has Kostravi been though? Just Oof. finding that open space, knowing the ball's going to be delivered there by Jackson or McDermott yep. in that kind of six yard area. He's been extremely active in that midfield, which has made our top three guys uh, definitely a handful to deal with. McDermott takes it away, now sends it back for Angus. McDermott wants it back, now gets it from Angus. Drives it towards the middle. 
Long ball for Fuller, who's got space on the far side. Look at Cyrus right Fuller there. tries oh. to go by the defender, crosses it in. Good oh. spot. Uh -oh. Shot on goal. Oh. Oh, what a save there by ADM. Wow. Another great shot. I think that was Kosravi again looking yeah. for number two early. Uh, he didn't get his hat trick last game, so <laughs> he's wanting to get another one on the board. Back-to-back -back hat tricks against Des Moines Christian and yeah. Oskaloosa. He only – well, he didn't have a goal against Pella, did he? I don't, I, I don't think he did, but – he certainly has one tonight to start things off. Oh, nice, nice job there by Every Jack. poking it away. Now it's McDermott. McDermott takes a deep shot nice. over the crossbar. Momentum is shifting a little bit right now. And right now, ADM a little bit on their heels. DCG starting to win some of those balls in the midfield, and Every looks like he's going to come off. Or no, that's Fuller coming off on the far side. I think Every, well, Every's asking, for, or no. I thought he was asking for a substitution, but... I think he maybe just thought he was coming off. Yeah. So Fuller comes off for DCG. Zach Bruck on to play on that far side, outside wing position. And Notterman wins it back. Back to Scholl, the center back. And there's Every in the middle. Every. Now Islamovic, who just kind of posts up in that he six position. He just holds position. up in that. And this is nice, just adding that. So even though we're a three back by design, it's. Kind of a little safety valve for those midfielders. Doubt. Without a doubt. And then he'll, every once in a while he'll sneak in like the Pella game, kind of snuck into that offensive attack and, and gets one in the back of the net every once in a while. And it's not like he's a small one to sneak up in there. Yeah, but when probably does, the biggest guy out there <laughs> as a sophomore. Here's a ball down the sideline. Kosravi tracking on that. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds. And Bruck will have a throw in for DCG. Finds Notterman who's crept up, crept forward. Back for Bruck, near the touchline over there on the far side. Now Islamovic sends it wide for Angus as they switch the field. Angus right back to Islamovic in the middle. Now it's Jackson coming forward, but he loses his footing and now loses the ball. Here's Stein Smith. Stein Smith pressured by McDermott and taken. Oh, oh they're going to call a foul. And that's, that's what you call a high school foul there. Yeah, I think so, just because there was a <laughs> contact. Mean, a, a clean dispossess yeah. there yeah. and a little bit of contact yep. chest to chest. But oh, even a talking to. Okay. Well, McDermott was pleading his case to no avail, but perhaps on the next one. There's a long ball towards the 18. Nice header by Scholl. And a ball chested down and Mendias kind of had to scramble after yeah, the deflection. Kind of caromed. Went off its line, but uh, good scramble by Jaden. And he'll send it wide for Notterman. Notterman with all kinds of space on that far side. Not really marking Notterman over there, so he's been able to just carry, yeah. the, carry the ball forward. Yeah. And you see that worked that time because ADM wins it back, and now ADM and Stein Smith creating an opportunity. Got Here's some runners. Ash getting forward. And they're going to say just outside the penalty area, a foul called, and I think you're going to have a yellow card issued. And who are they going to give it to? Is it, is it Scholl or Islamovic? I believe it's Almin. Islamovic going to be sent off on a yellow. And that's going to bring Fuller back out there. So I'm not sure if they'll... Probably slide Bruck back to that six and keep Fuller out on the outside. Islamovic will have to sit. I think that's probably what they'll do. He has to sit out for on the yellow. Is it the whole half or is it just a no, I mean, set of minutes? I believe it's – they've changed that rule. I want to say it's five minutes mandatory now, but don't quote me on that. But we'll, a very we'll dangerous see. spot here, and it looks like it's going to be – Well, it's 21.45, so we'll uh, – yeah, 21 46, we'll 46 see. showing. We'll see when he comes back in. Got to get the binoculars out to see. And the yeah, shot okay. into the wall. And another oh. shot and into the goal. Just caromed off the wall and just. ADM answers the DCG that goal with a goal of their own at the 21 38 mark. Looks like that was number seven. Yep, the leading goal that. scorer for the Peyton Meyer. Peyton Tigers. Peyton Meyer. So DCG concedes one right back after taking the 1-0 lead. Ball deflecting off the wall and Peyton Meyer taking care of business. 
with a shot to the far post past Mendias. Ball played wide to Fuller. Fuller drops it to Notterman. Notterman finds Every. Works it outside for Fuller. You know, they moved Tate back into where Almin's position was, and as a senior, I kind of like that. So we're probably, you know, so we have a little different mix. Brooks definitely. Oh, uh, here's Kosravi oh running geez. onto it, and a foul going to be given yeah. there, and yeah. another dangerous position, and. This will probably be McDermott to take the free kick in a spot where it's about, what, five five yards behind that 18-yard mark. So maybe looking far post here, trying to dip one in underneath the crossbar. They'll set up the wall, four-man wall being formed here by ADM. Well, after just watching what happened with the Tigers, I wouldn't mind seeing somebody up there in front of seven in case something caromed off McDermott, the wall. McDermott, a shot right into the keeper. Woo! Looked like and it almost snuck out of his underneath. Yeah, it went right through his legs, but not across the goal line. I think it was pretty comfortably in front of the goal line there. And they'll punt it away. Not a great punt there. Not at all. But Modernock, his first touch, now it's... Shoal gives it away in the middle of the field, and now it's ADM That's on the attack. a dangerous attack. spot, and uh, he's onside. Way for Tate to Mc hustle back. McDermott right there to sh stop the momentum. ADM wanted a foul. Not for sure what. And there's a – and Meyer down on the ground in the box. So this is going to be a pretty uh, theact theatrical game here, I think. And they stop play. For Meyer, who went to ground, but oh, maybe this will. They're all pleading their case. Even their center back, or their their back defense, must have had a pretty good eye on what was going on up there because they're pleading their case back there. Well, and you can't go to ground to stop play, but the official determines it was necessary. I'm not sure. Again, that's a another yeah. one of those high school calls. Sure. You would never see that no, at a, a level at a above level. this. No. And there's a ball sent to the middle. Things have kind of ramped up here a little bit from an intensity standpoint. Ash has it. He's dispossessed. Now it's Jackson. Jackson looks to get into the mix. Back to Notterman. And now it's Kosravi. Kosravi looks for Brooke in the middle. It's too hard of a touch there. Bruck and that able to win it back though. Bruck finds Kostravi. Now to the foot of Every. Wide for Angus. Nice through ball there for Kostravi. And the Jackson oh, offsides. Oh, he got back on, I thought. It was close, but I think he was a step off just based off his reaction. He had kind of stopped his run. But yeah, taking Islamovic off and, and, s and moving some pieces around yeah. seems like it's kind of changed some things as Angus heads that one away to the foot of McDermott. Over to Notterman. Notterman gives it back for McDermott, who slid back to that six. Now McDermott looks to play a long ball for Jackson. Jackson has it on his foot. Mm. Now Fuller plays it back to Jackson. Jackson running on to it, Just but... Ooh. That's going to be deflected off of Jackson out of bounds for a Tiger goal kick. So Kostravi started the scoring for DCG with a 1-0 lead, but then it was the leading goal scorer for ADM, Peyton Meyer, evening things up at 1. We've played 22 minutes here in the first half, still 18 minutes remaining. Now ADM will switch it over to the right back. Plenty of space for him as he kind of surveys things. Fuller will slide up and apply some pressure. Ash has it over on the far side. Notterman shuts that down, and it looks like they and another dribbled it out of bounds, and a Tiger player hits the ground. And Kosravi will have a little talking to by the center ref. I don't, know that, he, I don't know that he heard the whistle or knew the ball was out of bounds. Probably not the first body that we're going to see being uh, <laughs> thrown around tonight. Well, and DCG Good. with two games tomorrow up at the uh, Cedar Valley Complex as they'll take on Cedar Falls and Waterloo West. 
Here's Every in the middle. Back for McDermott. McDermott kind of looks at Modernock and now sends it wide to Colin. Colin looks to drive it to the middle. Finds Kostravi. Kostravi has it taken away. And there's a foul yeah. from behind. Number four there. And that's Carson, Carson K. K. And now McDermott looking to take a quick one for Modernock, but it was obstructed or the, the official hadn't given him the, the green light to yeah. go. So McDermott probably going to try and float one near the far post here and I see if one so. of those guys can get on the end of one with a header. McDermott raises the hand. Ball sent in. That one a little bit low. Modernock gets a nice touch on it. Oh, there's Scholl tracking back. Ball kind of pinballing around. There's Nobody can get to it. All kinds of bodies on the ground. That one poked away. And now Stein Smith runs onto it. And McDermott deflects it out of bounds. So it'll be a throw here for ADM. Tied at one with just over 15 to go here in the first half. Five and one ADM versus three and one DCG. Back to the right back as ADM looks to push forward, gives the ball away. Notterman who's had the ball in his foot a lot here in the first half. Yep. McDermott sends it to Angus. Angus has some space, decides to give it back for Bruck. Now back to Angus, Bruck with it. I think he could turn. Yeah, he's, he's got, got all got kinds of space. Check that right shoulder a little bit. And that's deflected out of bounds yeah, by Stein Smith. I think Smith. Cyrus is kind of communicating that to him right now a little bit. And oh. Islamovich and Wisley Kabamba going to yeah. check in for DCG. And Modernock and Kostravi going to come off. Kostravi doesn't look super thrilled to be coming off at this yeah, point in the game. Not Played the first 25. And he almost got a rash in some minutes here a little bit with two games tomorrow, but a 1-1 game against a top team like ADM. These guys want to be out there. They'll yeah. worry about tomorrow yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, they'll worry about tomorrow tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Here's Scholl. Scholl's going to have his pass deflected. Ash gets a first touch on it. Oh, nice stick there by very oh Ev and a pull that every yeah it was Jack sticking in there Jersey snug that play on play the advantage Jackson gets a touch on it Jackson well, I think he thought Fuller was going to come yeah, back I think he for thought it. he was following him and there's Notterman well, sticking another step it. yeah and Notterman's going to send it off wide switches it over for Angus Angus plays Kabamba oh. Kabamba gets a touch on it but out of bounds it'll be ADM ball. Yeah, ADM's kind of given our back guys enough space and just kind of sitting there. Just if some something lazy comes out of the back line, that's when they're going to try to try to jump and counter. And a long ball played, trying to find Stein Smith down the side, and that runs out of bounds. It'll be a throw for DCG. Stein Smith's showing some nice speed down yeah. this near sideline. Definitely. And a little tap by McDermott into the midfield. And it's going to be Meyer running on to it. Meyer hits one well over off the upright. And that would be three if we were playing on <laughs> Friday nights in the fall. That's a nice little chip shot there from about 25 out. So it'll be a goal kick here for Jaden Mendias. A little over 13 minutes to play. And both of these teams would love to get that second goal before the halftime break. Here's a ball played for... Maybe Fuller or Brock, neither one able to run on to it. Fuller, though, heads the, thr the throw in away. And the ball deflected off of Zach Brock out of bounds. It'll be a DCG throw. So the Tigers taking their time with the throw on the far side. 12 and change left here in the first half. And DCG nice. wins it back. There's McDermott trying to get into the middle with it. And McDermott has it poked away. Now wins it right back. And McDermott dribbles it out of bounds. It'll be a Tiger throw in. So ADM did a nice job there kind of blocking him. And they had, didn't have anywhere to go in the retreat process. And 
IBM trying to build out of the back here. Cross over the midfield stripe. And the ball taken away, McDermott with it. Now it's Jackson who's come back to the middle. Jackson gonna send it wide. Excuse me for Notterman, now to Fuller. Fuller cuts it back to the right. Now it's Jackson running onto it. Jackson has beaten the defender. Jackson crosses it in. And a nice job clearing it out of there. Yeah, number four, their center back back there. That's Car is it Carson K. It's getting dark in the booth here. Yeah. We might have to flip the lights on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see the game as well through the glass, but here's McDermott, or Brooke rather, with a little flip back to Angus. He sends it over to Jackson. Jackson oh. with a little space, but I can't quite get there. I didn't think he was expecting that one. So it'll be a goal kick here for ADM. Well, the intensity really ratcheted up there after the... About the first 10, 15 minutes then. It's kind of died back down a little bit. You know, but at, at any given moment, it's going to dial up quick. Touched over to Stein Smith. Calmly plays it back for Meyer. Meyer's going to try and send it long for Ash. Tough nice play ball. by Notterman. Notterman Way doing a good job to it. seal Ash Definitely. off the ball. Good headsy play there. Fuller checks back in to take the pass from Mendias, the keeper. Oh, a long ball played to McDermott. McDermott controls the first touch. Now McDermott faces and tries to slide it through. Had Kabamba on a run, but... Well defended by ADM. Uh-oh. There we go. And it's Islamovic using his body well, but taking off the ball, and now it's a counter the other way. ADM sends it out wide. ADM looking for Meyer inside Islamovic. Wondering where our keeper's clear at. It out of there. And now up top, near the top of the 18, here comes a shot maybe. No, they can't get one off. Kind of like to see Jaden come off the line there and just go grab that ball. We got two hurt players. Well, you've got a, a player down for ADM, and you've got Jack Every down in the midfield. Number seven's been down a few times, so I know he's out. They said he hurt a little bit coming into the game, but. Yeah, and he's, he's sticking really, it out. He's, he's toughing it out, but, boy, he is gimpy right now. I just don't see, this is not a game that's worth losing a guy for a matter of weeks. It looks like he's kind of favoring that right knee maybe. But Meyer now with seven goals on the season, the leading goal scorer and certainly a top two or three player, if not the top player for ADM. And he does not look like he's in any hurry to, I mean, just a slow walk off the field and we're gonna have a substitution. And we're gonna have number 30. Coming on, we'll get you a name here for Cyrus is coming back on for Kasim Bamba. We'll come back for ADM and he'll replace Meyer in the midfield it looks like. Meyer just looks dejected to, yeah. not, to have to come out of this game. Yeah, this is a, a We'll see if he's able to return. But like I said, uh, they've just got so much in front of them in this season, yeah. I just don't know that it's he came into the game yeah. a little bit gimpy from what we were told, and then. Now Jack's coming off, too, and I don't know if this is a re-aggravated of the foot, but they're kind of holding his. Well, we know Jack's injury, and that's a broken left pinky toe. And certainly something you can, that'll pass with time. And that's what it looks like. He's kind of like he's had enough of it. There's McDermott in the middle of the field. McDermott spins through, now finds. Here's Kosravi with it on his foot. Kosravi sends it out oh, wide. Oh, that's another and kick another, right there. Another foul not oh, called. Oh, come on. Fuller trying to run on to it, and that ball will be ushered out of bounds and a goal kick. Ko yeah. Kosravi limping a little bit now. And he um, uh, um, well, yeah, he got kicked pretty good in the shin. Uh, after the ball was after gone. After the ball was already gone, pretty much point blank. So, so a goal kick here at the 8th. 30 mark for ADM, tied at one. And you've got Meyer over there seeing the trainer. We'll see if 
he can get him right to get back into the game or if it's just a matter of getting some ice on it and calling it a night. McDermott rises up for the header, able to win the ball midfield. Notterman has it poked away. And now Kasim Bamba trying to run on to it. Sends it back for Mendias. He'll send it up high. Notterman over there on the far side and it's headed away and it's gonna be a DCG throw. Fuller throws it in quickly for Notterman. And they'll send it wide for Angus. Now Brock. Little touch over to Kabamba. Whistley able to play through the defender. Whistley gives it for McDermott. McDermott oh, plays one ball. through for Jackson. Jackson back for Brock and just too much time in the midfield taken there. It's a one or two touch area yeah, right now the, as, as hard as these guys are playing. ADM's on their, on their front foot for sure. So yeah, this has got to be one touch balls right now. Here's Notterman over for McDermott. McDermott pressure from behind by Bamba. Now to Notterman. Notterman gonna go through the midfield there and sends it back for McDermott. ADM kind of packing it in, 10 of their yeah. guys. Yeah. Here's Kabamba, Whistley. Bad first touch is taken away. Islamovic though controls it. Back for Angus and they'll reset. Now a long ball played in towards Fuller. Fuller will try and head it over to Jackson. Jackson, nice touch on I the think first touch oh. and the shot goes wide. Kind of headed himself, yeah. Just set himself up for a shot. The ball was in the air when he yeah. connected on it and sends it just wide. Right now, I'm trying to find Ben Jackson in the 18-yard area right so. now. Let I him go to work. Go. I don't. Yeah, that's the one. That's the the deep advantage we have right now. So ADM, little pressure applied now as they try and high press here, and McDermott trying to take it away, and a dangerous ball, mm. and that's just going to be sent yeah. to the near sideline and Kabamba. Kind of left the keeper out the dry on that one. Don't know yeah. if he came off the line or what. Cyrus was just a step. Well, without Meyer on the field, I like a real high press here for DCG. They kind of lost their scoring thread up top. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. There's a ball played in. Tried to get Fuller to it. And now this one's sent out wide and out of bounds. And right now it just feels like ADM's trying to survive this final five and a half minutes That's without, exactly. they without dialed conceding it. a goal. They dialed everybody back. Here's DCG with possession. Notterman finds Kostravi. Kostravi sends it to Fuller. Fuller looking to he's got cross it in, time. but he's got space. Now does send it in. Mm, that's the one. Notterman, yeah. Notterman comes up. Notterman trying to get by. Now finds Fuller. Fuller to Kostravi. Kostravi trying to beat his defender. Left-footed cross deflected away. Fuller trying to win it back and does. Now back for Notterman. Notterman takes the touch forward. Now splits the defenders. Into the middle of the field, Otterman, his ball Ooh. mishandled, but right into the hands of the keeper as Kabamba really didn't make any sort of run through the middle there. And now the ball is going to be sent wide and out of bounds. Another throw in for DCG, 440 clock running here, first half. To your point, though, they are just, they are really packing it in back there on defense. And I think just trying to get to half, 1-1. One, one. Here's Angus. Bruck now, back for Angus. McDermott looking for it, finds some Ooh. space, but Too, they're kind of coming that, in, yeah, those kind of waiting firmer. on that pass, yeah. and then good anticipation by ADM to take it away. Kabamba gives chase, pressuring Stein Smith. Good possession here by ADM as they switch it to the far side. ADM pretty composed after giving up that first goal. Defending well in the midfield. McDermott now beats it, or that was Bruck that beats Bruck. the defender. Now McDermott. McDermott finds Bruck, gets it back. McDermott now with a little space through a couple defenders. Kabamba runs onto it. Gonna stop it now. Whistley gonna try and beat the defender with the left. Sends it in. Oh, and, oh nearly finished there by Jackson. Kabamba Woo. put it on a tee. And ADM dodges a bullet there on the far post. I had to catch his shoelaces. Oof. 
That was a heck of a cross there by Wesley Kabamba. Nice run by Ben Jackson there, and I, he's going to get one in. He's had two or three well. close now. This we gotta, we're going to get one in. Yeah, he will not be happy that that one didn't find the back of the net. Good build up there by DCG. Now a free kick or a goal kick by ADM. He'll send it out wide. And that ball going to go out of bounds. Boy, without Meyer on the field, this is a different looking Tiger team right now. Without a doubt. Kostravi, good first touch and sends it to Fuller. Fuller now trying to beat the defender. Fuller pulls it back. Finds some traffic. Kostravi, good use of the body there. Now it's Notterman. DCG needs to switch the field here if they can. Notterman has it on his foot. Notterman by nice. the defender. Nice. Great work there by nice. Canton Notterman. Now it's Fuller with space. Fuller plays it off. Oh. And the cross in, and oh. Kabamba has it. Oh. And just no can't left. get a shot off. I think he was trying to play it back to his right foot. And Two well, minutes and change left, and DCG great. knocking on the door again. Good opportunity there, the ball fell. Angus looks to send one in. Angus finds the foot of Jackson. Jackson hits one off Ooh. the off the field goal crossbar, so about a foot and a half too high there on the left-handed, left-footed turn. And another goal kick here for ADM. Boy, they've had a couple good chances here in the final five of the first half. Still tied at one. We'll see if we can get another, another opportunity here. And that ball sent in for Stein Smith. Good first touch off the chest, able to control it. Well, I think that was out of bounds. That it was. Of bounds. So that'll Let's be go. a throw in. Angus can scoot down a little bit. He's got more space to take if he wants it. Quick throw in for Jackson. Can't quite get it there. And that one. Chance. Angus will throw it in now. Just over a minute to go. McDermott. Now uh -oh. to Jackson. Jackson sends it up for Kosravi. A oh! tough shot there by Cyrus. Off the right foot, tried to one-touch it into the far post. Good idea. Boy, they've had two or three of those oh. here in the first half. Just missing. A lot of momentum, but no goals to show for it here in the final 10 minutes for DCG. Still tied at one. So here's a goal kick taken by the center back, Carson K. And here's ADM. Now Cleared out of there by Scholl and Jackson to Brock. Brock gives it to Kabamba. Kabamba. We got a little bit of numbers this time. Tried to get it to McDermott, deflected, and now sends it in deep, but right to the keeper's hands, and he'll fall on it and probably chew up a lot yeah. of this final 20 seconds. Yeah. They they want uh, they're very happy with 1-1. One, one. Still keeping an eye on Meyer down there as he's put a brace on that right knee. I want, just kind of wonder if he's going to give it a go here in the second half. Five, four, four seconds. They count it down, and that's going to be the end of the first half here at Mustang Stadium. Well, we expected a competitive, well-played game here, and we've certainly got that here in the first half. DCG first blood with Cyrus Kostravi's goal, and then it's Meyer coming back to equalize 1-1 one, one around that 20-minute mark, and then the final 20 minutes Felt like as soon as Meyer left the field, the possession really favored DCG. Handful of quality shots on goal, but just none of them find in the back of the net. And right now, DCG, although tied at one, probably feels pretty good going into that second half with the momentum they've built here. Without a doubt, without a doubt. All right, we'll take a quick timeout. Ten minutes on the clock here for the halftime break. We'll come back at about the two-minute mark and kind of reset the first half. But right now, at the half here at Mustang Stadium in Grimes, Iowa, it's DCG 1, ADM 1. Join us here in a few minutes for the kickoff of the second half. Thank you, everyone. It is. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of finale, I will never feel no fear. 
first the reaper gotta catch me I don't care who got the next crown I'm the true and living right now Thought you lived to see my last breath? Go ahead and put your best down nah. Run with the wolves and we unify yes. Hungry enough to eat you alive yes. We never break in formation Let's go. I live and die for this crew of mine Been to the bottom dehumanized yes. Found my divinity through the fire yes. Pushed through it all and I stood tall uh -huh. That's cause a legend can never die For the long run, you'll fade away before I'm done. Like it or not, I'm at your door. Uh -huh. Open the gate, cause it rock nah, come. Nah. You undefeated with no scars. You must have came here to earn some. Before me, you never knew no loss. Nah. I'm happy to give you your first one. I came to go for the gusto. Yes. You in the trench with a cutthroat. Yes. Bring me your best, I'ma crush those. Ballin' like I took a blood oath. Yes. Feed off the pressure that's in the air. The smell of it thicker than gun smoke. Yes. I persevere when the end is near. Watch my destiny unfolds. I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Here I come. I'm unstoppable. Yes. When it's done, I'll be the one. I'm unstoppable. Yes. Here I come. Here I come. I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. Surrounding us, travel 2,000 kilometers to hang out with us. What's up, danger? What's up, danger? Hey, getting no they doubted us, makes it that more marvelous. Sign them up, cause I'm in this vibe, then I get synonymous. What's up, danger? Hey, don't be a stranger, cause I like high chances that I might lose. I like it all on the edge, just like you. Hey, I like tall buildings so I can leap off of them. I go hard with it, no matter how dark it is. I'm insane. I could keep the world balanced on my nose I had a slumber party with all my foes Now I wear them like a badge on all my clothes If I'm crazy, I'm on my own If I'm waiting, it's on my phone If I sound lazy, just ignore my tone Cause I'm always gonna answer when you call my phone Like, what's up, danger? What's up, danger? 
Welcome back here to Mustang Stadium. John McDermott, Sean Angus up here in the warm and cozy booth. It's a, it's a nice night out here, but uh, it's cooled off here a little bit now that the sun's gone down, Sean, and the yep. wind wind blowing, man, about 8, 10, 12 miles an hour. Not, we've had much worse nights yeah. early on here in the soccer season. Conditions, but uh, probably the nicer, nicest conditions they've had to, for a game so far. So. Yeah, absolutely. 1-1 one, one tie here between visiting ADM and the host DCG Mustangs. EDM, we knew it would be tough. They came in 5-1 and one so far on the season, and DCG, their only loss to the defending 4A, stamp, 4A champs, Johnston Dragons. Uh, an early goal by Cyrus Kostravi. I believe his, what, seventh goal? This is our seventh or eighth goal of the season. We'll have to check the numbers there. But Kostravi gets DCG on the board early on, and then it was Meyer off the deflection, off the wall on the free kick. Meyer puts one into the far post. And that equalized things around that 20-minute mark for ADM. And then we played the final, I'd say, 18, 19 minutes scoreless after the Meyer goal. But uh, the, the big story, I think, in the first half is the fact that Meyer, who we knew came in the game kind of nursing some sort of injury, looks like something with the, uh, I think, his knee that's bothering him. But uh, he aggravated something and had to come off around that uh, 10, 12-minute mark. And since then, it they seems like DCG started to really grab a hold of possession and created quite a few opportunities. But uh, none of them found the net, and we remain tied 1-1. A lot of good opportunities out there. They were knocking on the door. So uh, one of these are going to go in this half right here. They're just uh, – but, uh, yeah, the, the penny's off, so it looks like they're going to go back full strength, uh, the ADM team. So uh, yeah, Meyer might give it a go here. I, I just – you know, as a – Myers, a senior playing the rival DCG, wants to get a victory over yeah. the Mustangs. Certainly understand why he want to be out there and at least give it a go here in the first, you know, five ten minutes and see what it feels like. But we saw how he walked off, and it, yeah. if he's going to be out there, it's certainly don't think it's going to be at full strength. But even an eighty percent Meyer is probably better than the alternative yeah. for ADM. It's sure. just looking forward and what this team's capable of if they can get him back to 100 percent i think it also speaks to the rivalry of the of these two uh schools so it's a, a situation where have a chance to handle hand dcg a loss and actually probably get his first victory against them yeah i believe in his career i so. believe dcg's won the last three and uh the seniors of dcg would try love to make it four straight and go through their varsity careers without a loss to ADM. But uh, right now, this is definitely Anybody's the toughest ADM team I've seen in the four years of these seniors playing. They've just they've got good good talent and depth at each level of the yep. field versus some past ADM teams where maybe there's a hole out there somewhere that that they can exploit. I just there's I don't see that hole tonight for ADM. They've got a quality quality eleven out there. Seems like at all times, and yeah, Meyer is out there to start the second half, and looks like DCG will start with Bruck out there in place of Every, who is uh, nursing that broken toe. So that's the only really change in the starting 11 for both teams. Looks like Zach Bruck playing in place of of uh, Jack Every for the Mustangs, and that'll probably slide McDermott back a little bit towards that sixth position. He and Islamovich. 
The only negative of that is the McDermott created that goal scoring opportunity, the assist for Kostrabi. Yeah. But he's able to get forward and still play that, that six spot. And we're underway here. And a long ball played in, but that ball takes a yeah. touch off of ADM. And now ADM wins back possession and they'll start to build from their back line. Tied at one here, just underway, second half, live from Mustang Stadium out here in Grimes, Iowa. Islamovic gives it off for Scholl, the center back. Scholl plays it over for Notterman. Notterman will take a touch forward. Finds Bruck, back to Notterman. Now quickly over to McDermott, who slid to the near side. And McDermott's ball deflected away. And Notterman's going to switch the field over to Angus. Angus Take that space. Angus looking for Jackson. Plays a good long that ball in. And Jackson has it on his foot. That was a good spot. Plays it back for Fuller. See and left Fuller's going to cross Ooh. it in. And it's deflected out of there. Headed away by number four. Oh. That's Carson K, who's kind of their main anchor That's defensive player yeah, there, the he's center been, back. He's been pretty solid in the first half. So it'll be a corner here. And it looks like. Modernock will take it for the Mustangs. Here's Modernock's corner, right foot, low ball in, and that's going to give him another shot. You know, Modernock decides to keep it in, now sends it into the middle, and that one sails out of bounds for a throw in. I'd like to see a little more height, height, height on know, that one. I think, I think we definitely have them in the height category. Here's Notterman with it on his foot, Islamovic. Back for Scholl. Scholl's going to switch it over for Angus with a lot of space. And Angus to Kosravi. His ball poked away. Cyrus, though, wins Stay, it right back. Staying with it. Now it's Modernock. Modernock looks to drive it. Modernock swings it in. Kosravi gets a touch on it. Ball pinballs around. Somebody's out get to something. the. Uh, there's oh. a shot by Jackson knocked down. And there's a ball. Keep the pressure the up, middle. boys. Kostravi with it on his foot. Brock from distance. Brock Ooh. just over the crossbar. Nice swing. Boy, that was not far from going in. Brock with a nice shot on goal there, just above the crossbar. I like seeing DCG just pin the ears back and keep that pressure on. No doubt. Just watching Meyer kind of move around in the midfield. Looks okay out there. Looks like he's certainly favoring that right knee a little bit, but he's probably going to pick his runs. Here's Meyer with it on his foot. Meyer looks to get forward and does a nice job to play it back now to the back line. Meyer gives it off for Kay. Kay's going to play it wide. First touch a little bit errant and out of bounds. It'll be a throw for the Mustangs. It looks like... ADM's kind of switched some stuff because it looks like 14 Owen Kirk. I think he was playing the back line in the first half where they moved him up front. And here's the ball Maybe through the middle, but comfortably for Notterman, who swings it over for Scholl. Now it's Fuller. Bruck will make a run towards the corner. Take that space. Fuller with take some that space. space is going to take it down the middle. Oh, and McDermott's going to come up on the on the ball. Oh, plays it in for Jackson, but just a little heavy on the pass. That was a tough jack. Ben had to hold his line there and just didn't have enough real estate to run it down. Notterman comes up, deflects it, but out of bounds. So it'll be a throw here for the Tigers on the near side. Ball thrown in, Ash with it on his right foot. Ash sends it back, switches the field over to that left back. Both teams playing kind of similar formations, kind of three in the back, but Clock Ash, Ash kind of slow. Oh, there's oh nice Ravi, little Nice poke. dispossession there. Kostravi, his oh. ball, though, deflected. I think he was trying to swing it over for Jackson. Yeah. Nice step, though. Cyrus has been extremely active all night tonight. Here's Ash. Plays it wide, but right out of bounds to his head coach. So Fuller with the throw in now. Fuller finds the foot of McDermott. McDermott Good. finds Bruck. Bruck's going to send it wide for Modernock. Here's Colin. Cuts it back. Colin has it on his oh. left foot. Now McDermott. 
McDermott through traffic. McDermott's going to hit one. Oh, no, he isn't. And a oh, shot on goal. Oh, he didn't get and any power on it. Oh. Oh, had it teed up for oh. Brock. Just missed hits it and a really good opportunity Great squandered ball. by DCG. Yeah, that one's got to find the back of the net. And a game this close. And Scholl heads it kind of straight up in the air. Now Islamovic finds it. Up in the air for Brock, who settles it. Brock touches forward for Fuller. Fuller looking to find a teammate, finds Jackson now. Jackson finds McDermott. McDermott has it knocked away, and Notterman there. And Notterman hits the deck, and now it's back the other way for the Tigers. Oh. And they're going to call a foul on McDermott. Well, well that's see, it's, he kind of maybe run him off a little bit. Where Notterman was kind of retreating back, he got his shoe taken off there on that last possession. But it, it's certainly not worthy of a foul. It was just shoulder to shoulder. But uh, as you said earlier, <laughs> high school. <laughs> well, they they call the high school game differently than the club game. There's just no question about that. But I thought that was a foul. So Ash will take the free kick here for the Tigers, and he'll send it in. Mendias right there to make the nice. save. Pretty nonchalant save there, and a quick throw out to Fuller. Now Fuller tries to beat Ash. Fuller has it poked away. Now back to Ash. Fuller deflects it, but out of bounds. So it'll be a throw for the Tigers. Ash will throw in, Notterman. Heads it down, and some traffic there, and McDermott trying to take it away, and finally gets possession. And McDermott able Boy, to win way it back. To stay with it, Tate, and, and still with it. I, I think, think that was no, nah, that was last touch by McDermott. So it'll be a throw here for ADM. So good work by Tate right there in the middle of trying to keep keep possession of that ball. So Ash with another throw in on the near side. And DCG with a little pressure in the midfield, so they'll slide it back to Kay, the center back. He'll swing it over to the far side. Now the ball sent out wide. Nice first touch. Can he keep it in? They say yes, he can. And Modern knock there, or that's Angus defending. And they'll play it back now and reset here through the midfield. Kosravi marking. Now back for Ash. ADM with a nice little possession yeah. here. Swinging it back and forth, probing for something. Brock trying Almost. to step in front. ADM keeps possession. Long shot from distance, and it's in, in the back of the net. Nice shot. ADM with a shot from, from way back. Just caught the and top corner and. Nicely, nice shot. Let's get a number on that. That what a what a shot that was. Is it number five or Brock? I'm trying to the, the light Richardson, the lighting terrible in here. Richardson, the junior, with a pretty goal from yeah, deep about thirty-five yards out, back corner. Not a lot Mendias could do about that one. No, I think the shot might have. Caught him off guard a little bit. Well, you're not normally seeing people take a swing from that deep, uh, but and then it was placed just perfectly. So Notterman has it on his foot as DCG, DCG now trying to equalize as ADM with two straight goals. Oh, and great ball. Through. And a touch off the foot of ADM. Almost an own goal. Right to the keeper. That was kind of odd. And we'll... See ADM now play it out of the back. DCG, plenty of time here, about 31 minutes to play here in the second half. But right now, not a lot of pressure applied on that back line. I thought you'd see DCG pressing up more on that back line of ADM. Not so much here yet in the second half. Ball headed away, and last touch by ADM. It'll be a throw for DCG. 
just looking for someone to throw. And the ball headed backwards. Modernock gets it on his foot. Now McDermott tries to touch it over for Bruck. Kosravi gets in the middle of it. And Kosravi. Now Battling. it's Modernock. Over to Cyrus. Kosravi with it. Back for Angus. Angus is going to switch it over for Notterman. Notterman with some space on the near side. Wide to Fuller. Nice close. Fuller has it poked away. Notterman gives it back for Islamovic. Now it's Angus. Angus, his ball sent back. And it's going to be over to Modernock, who will just settle it. Carson now takes on the defender. Modernock. Continues to possess, back for Angus. Angus sends it to the near post, but that's going to sail wide of the goal and out of bounds for a goal kick. So right now with a 2-1 lead, I expect ADM to be a little more defensive-minded here, especially with Meyer dinged up. We'll they've kind of played that same. They've kind of packed it in on defense, but uh, they close out quick. And so any kind of pass that's a little bit nonchalant, uh, they're going to get to it. Angus going to play it. Clears it and out of bounds. So it'll be a throw at the midfield stripe for ADM. Islamovic to the pass. middle. They're just trying uh, to find McDermott. McDermott nice take. able to win it away. McDermott keeps it. Jackson in pursuit. Let's see if they squeeze him down here now. Ash pokes it off a of Fuller's yeah. foot out of bounds, so it'll be a throw for ADM. Ash standing on the near sideline, looks to throw in, looks for K. Kind of a lazy bouncing ball to the center back, but yeah. he controls it. Nice one touch to the opposite side. McDermott nice. in there to take it away. Here's nice. Kostravi on the run. Back to McDermott. McDermott through the middle. McDermott over to Fuller. Oh, Fuller with some, some space. space. Yeah, Fuller with a t long yeah. shot, but I like can see a little more patience there. there, although ADM just hit one of those. Yeah. But it's got to be perfect. Yeah. Good Scholl. little header by Scholl there to put it right to Otterman's foot. Especially if they're going to give us that much space. And another ball just straight to the keeper by Fuller. And the keeper just making Jackson come up before he picks it up. So he'll punt this away from the 18 yard area. And it's gonna sail out beyond midfield and ball headed back for Scholl. And he'll let it slide back all the way to Mendias who will just touch it over. I don't know why we're playing that long. Yeah, That should be just played back to your center back and, and let's go possessing forward. But they do win the throw in. Modernock will give it off for Angus, and he'll make the throw for DCG. Throws it in for McDermott. McDermott turns, plays Scholl. Scholl, Islamovic, now McDermott. McDermott's going to loft one in for Kostravi. Kostravi's inside the penalty area. Kostravi oh. has it dispossessed. And off a of modern knock out of bounds. I'd like to see more build in that final third versus these long balls in. Yeah. ADM's demonstrated that they're handling those long balls yeah. pretty this effectively. Is probably the stronger of the defensive lines we face. And so it was when we were hitting those connecting passes in there, those short, quick ones, is when uh, we were getting the shots on goal. So Kay will launch this from the six yard line. Islamovic. He's really dropped back, which is uh, kind of help protect on the D with Jack being out. Fuller makes the defender. Fuller now gets forward. Nice. And, and, and had possession. I'm not sure why forward. we're stopping play there and just not allowing advantage as Fuller was moving forward with the ball. Yeah. Um, Again, high school refereeing is a little different. Sees the foul, makes the call. Islamovic looks like he's working out, a, or not, it's Angus over there. Maybe working out a cramp. McDermott's going to send one in. Good ball. Near the far post, and it just falls 
harmlessly to the ground and out. Bruck looks like he's a little bit ginger. That might cause uh, maybe Hiker can to get up off the bench. Bruck maybe maybe a calf injury or not even not sure I wouldn't say an injury but he just looks like maybe he's yeah, laboring a little something. bit there. So goal kick taken over the head of the defender. And ABM gonna chase it down now. Bruck there to win it at the midfield area. McDermott drives through a few defenders, finds the foot of Jackson. Jackson. Ooh, that's that's through that through the rock. Somehow it gets through. And now Modernock. Modernock beats the defender, sends it in. Cyrus. Shot on goal. Oh. Nice save there by ADM. Yeah. As Kostravi almost gets goal number two. Nice. So a corner coming here, and it looks like it's, it's going to be Modernock as Fuller had just checked out, and he's normally a guy that would take the corner from that, from that side direction. of the field. So it's going to be. Modern knock to hit the corner. Let's see if a Mustang can get on the end of this one and equalize at two. Schultz coming in the back post, but there's a ball headed up. McDermott, oh. and oh. his header sails over the crossbar. Heck of a try by Tate right there. Again, I think we just keep the pressure here as much as possible. Right now, ADM seems fairly, well, they're going to play this one out of the back to see some more pressure up top. Ball hit. Now it's possessed by ADM in the midfield. Meyer kind of lurking up at the top of the formation. That ball sent deep. Mendias is going to come in and just play it off for Kabamba, it looks like. There we go. Whistley takes a touch. Now Whistley works around the defender. Yep. And Whistley. Stays on, now Cyrus Kostravi with it, Kostravi. They're chasing now. And it's going to be Bruck on the near side. Bruck swings it over for Modernock, a nice ball there by Zach Bruck. Modernock oh. miss, hits it with the left foot, and it's going to be, tried to head it away, but McDermott now with it on his foot. Here's Kostravi to Jackson. Oh, he's trying and a little give and go. Thought Modernock was coming to make a run. Yeah. With Benny's foot, I'd like to see him be a little more selfish there and just kind of size that up and shoot it if he can. So the keeper has it, punts it away out beyond midfield. And that's probably his best punt of the night. That's going to carry him, bounce out of bounds. There's a throw in for Scholl. Scholl with it. Yeah, they're just giving our, our back line all the space in the world. And just kind of trying to play that next pass, trying to jump that next pass. And... Again, again, <laughs> I don't, again. So DCG whistle for the foul near midfield. So this will be a free kick. It looks like Kay coming up to take it. And DCG will retreat back and set up defensively near the top of the 18. Here's Kay's free kick. Sends it in. And that's going to go out of bounds for a goal kick for DCG. I'd like to see a little more sense of urgency here by DCG. I We're was kind of kind of going through the motions it, right now. It does. It yeah. You know, this is there's no as we said a few times. There's no timeout in soccer, so you just need to at some point they need to feel it. Um, you can feel that ADM's kind of ever since that evened up the goal, and definitely after they took the lead, they've been playing with a little more intense than. Uh, Intensity than what we're showing. Jackson plays it wide for Kabamba. Whistley sends it across. Great ball. And oh. The ball still not possessed. It's kind of just dangling out there. Keeper made a nice save. He, but he, he timed that run off the back line well. Here's Bruck for McDermott. McDermott sends it out. Tried to find Modernock, just didn't get it all the way out there. And there's Modernock working hard for it. Nice job by ADM to win it back. And ADM just sends it back to their left back. And Scholl heads it away. Islamovic 
Sends it over to Notterman. Notterman now with, has it on the left foot, wide for Kabamba. Kabamba with some space. Takes the touch forward. Here's Kabamba. Whistley. Oh, nice. Goes by Ash. Now Whistley. Uh, oh, off the, off the crossbar. That was I think a little more dangerous <laughs> than I think they thought it was going to be. I think they thought it was going to sail, and it just kind of stayed. So that'll be a goal kick here for ADM. DCD kind of searching for an answer here. Really packing in the middle there and forcing DCG out wide. So far, none of those crosses have connected. There's Modernock heading it to Kosravi. Modernock gets it back. Modernock finds Jackson. Back for Colin. He keeps it in and ADM wins it. Now it's Meyer in the middle of the field. McDermott tracking back on Meyer. He sends it out wide. Angus runs with the attacking player, now dispossessed. Bruck takes a touch by the defender. Here comes Zach Bruck. Ah, I'd like to see him just keep. Just not too many touches in the middle of the field. Yeah. We've seen that a handful of times. I think that's one of those This ones midfield for ADM is all over the ball. They're focused yeah. on stopping the midfield. It's got to be a one or two touch area for the most part. Here's Jackson taking the touch. Now Kabamba. See it back. There we gives go. Gives it back to Ben Jackson. Jackson going in. Sends it across. And oh, wow. It went. The left back touched it back to the keeper. They're going to say an intentional, unintentional yeah, pass. Yeah, well, Karam. Actually, very lucky it bit Karam back. DCG was knocking on the door there. A couple different times they've had opportunities like that. Scholl will settle yeah. this one in the back. I think it's just settle and go. Now to go. There's McDermott. McDermott finds mm. Modernock, but the pass too heavy, but down near the corner. Let's see if they kind of keep him squeezed down there. Yeah. Instead of retreating back defensively. This will be a throw in for ADM. McDermott heads it over to himself, basically. Now Scholl. Scholl will send it out wide. Angus. Back for Scholl. Scholl finds McDermott. McDermott will make the turn. McDermott through the middle. McDermott hits. And there's a handball called for, but no whistle. That certainly looked like a handball from here, and plenty of fans out there asking <laughs> for the handball as well. Now McDermott again. McDermott by the defender into the penalty I area. I think Tate's recognized that he can just go forward. Look at Tate trying to win it back there. And nice job Meyer defensively. Tra Meyer tracking all the way back from basically a forward position. Here's Kabamba. Oh. Tried to find Enough. Jackson. Now Jackson. Kabamba. Dangerous area. He's going to cross it in and right to the keeper. Ball's got to be a little higher. This cross has got to get to the six-yard line. Yeah. Can't be to the keeper. Yeah, that's There's Kosravi. Great job there to win it. And Modernock takes a touch around the defender. Slide tackle. Deflected out of bounds. Starting to hear some moans and groans from the... Yeah. The home fans here with 16 yeah. and change left. Bruck's going to come out. Fuller will replace him. Dallas Center Grimes has to be back at it at 11 a.m. tomorrow in Cedar Valley. Here's Kostravi. Oh, Kostravi it. sends it into the middle. Oh. Deflected away as ADM just packing it in right yeah. now. Yeah. Shoal sends it wide. Kabamba inside the penalty area. Take him. Takes a touch out wide. Back for Jackson. Jackson has a hit. Mm. and Nice corner. Just fumbled out of bounds by yeah. the keeper and a corner coming here for DCG. Let's see this ball driven nice and high. So Islamovic looks to take it this time. 15 and a half minutes to go. A banger for the second goal for ADM, has them up 2-1. Islamovic sets it. 
Let's see if ECG can make something happen here. Far post. Going for Shoal. Here's a. Can't drive in one in there. A deflection and into the hands of the keeper. Just kind of a, not a well hit ball. Kind of bouncing through the penalty area. And another punt coming here. And ADM just really playing defense now as Angus will way back. run it down and they'll reset. Over to Notterman. Notterman will push forward again. Kabamba to Fuller. <coughs> Notterman gets it right back. Fuller has it on his foot. Now Kabamba. Kabamba has it taken away, but he wins it back. Now it's McDermott. McDermott. Nice job by Notterman to get over there and give Tate somebody to. He slide it over to McDermott. He found a little space. Now McDermott takes on the defender. And there's a hard foul there, and that's going to be a yellow card. Yep. And that's going to send off number 14, 14. Owen Kirk. So Owen Kirk, the senior, will have to sit the next five minutes. And McDermott probably taking this free kick. But time is ticking down here. 14, well, the clock has stopped, I guess, on the yellow card being issued. 14.02. Still left here in the second half. DCG just looking for an equalizer to force overtime. I wouldn't mind seeing AJ just touch it over to McDermott. Go and, and drive that. with it. Yeah. McDermott will send it in. McDermott, oh, dangerous play there. Oh, get it in. And it's oh. Kostravi going to come out here and send it back for McDermott. He sends it in with the left foot. Kabamba. Another call for a handball. Kabamba, his oh. shot deflected out of bounds a and corner. a corner kick. Oh. We've had two calls for handball. Yeah, here in the last 10 minutes and neither being issued by the center. Well, the DCG boys aren't getting the home field bounces though either. The uh, keeper coming off his line. Ball sent in by Kabamba and the keeper out to make the save. And ADM starting to sense it here. Still 13 and change to play, but defensively ADM Keeping the ball out of the net here. Scholl plays it right back. Now midfield for Islamovic. Heads it over. Tries to head it over for Modernock. Now it's ADM on a little bit of a counter, but it's 2v6, so they'll have to just kind of slow things up, and now they'll play the ball back. I think DCG's just kind of searching for that combo up front. Angus back for Mendias, the keeper. They'll switch it over to Notterman. And now Notterman will look to drive it a little bit. Now it's Kabamba. Kabamba sends it in. And dangerous. Oh. And Kosravi, a foul from behind. So that'll be a free kick for ADM. And more time ticks away. Yeah. Almost to the 12 minute mark here. It's okay to take the free kick here for ADM as we tick under 12. Two to one, ADM leads it. McDermott nice knocks step. that down. Now it's ADM back the other way. Or check that DCG rather, and he finds Jackson on a little bit of a run. Jackson <coughs> plays it back for Notterman. Notterman drives it forward. Notterman finds Jackson just outside the penalty area. Jackson looks to cross it in. Left footed, and it's going to be another corner for DCG. Very aggressive back line that Adel is putting up and very, you know, putting a very good defense together. Well, forcing the ball wide. DCG's had a couple chances through the middle. Here's a corner by Wisley Kabamba. Notterman runs over to the far side, takes a touch forward, 
Otterman sends it towards the top of the penalty area. That one deflected out of bounds, and it'll be a throw for DCG. Right into Angus. Angus for modern knock. Here's McDermott. McDermott looks to send it in. McDermott through the penalty area. Now Kabamba on the f near side. Whistley has it. Nice. Here's Kosravi. Kosravi creating something. Creating off the foot of the defender and another clearance they're out of just, bounds. And it's just, just they're just throwing their body in front of the ball and then throwing it out of bounds. And right now with a two one lead, that's all they need that's to all do. That's all they need to do, exactly. All of the possession the last 20 minutes has been in yeah. favor of DCG. Kabamba dispossessed. And nice job there by ADM to keep possession. Yeah, they're starting to play that keep away. Ten minutes left. Yeah, here's a throw for DCG and a quick substitution as Islamovic will come off. Bruck comes on. So a little more speed in the middle. Here's a throw in for Kosravi. And he touches it forward. Jackson trying to get there, but ushered out of bounds and a goal kick coming. Well, it feels like the ball's been on DCG's <laughs> half the entire second half. For the most part, just the one banger by ADM to get the 2-1 lead, and then they've just packed it in. 9.30 to play. Can someone from DCG step up and equalize here? Ball played out of bounds. It'll be off, they say off Notterman, ADM with the throw. ADM very slow to get just the throw in. Just taking their time, and as well they should. So Ash to throw it in here for ADM. And does, doesn't even make an attempt to find a teammate, just throws it down on the far end of the field forcing DCG to reset. And then Diaz finds Kabamba. Kabamba with Jackson. Jackson plays back for Notterman. DCG looks to switch it. Now probes down the far side. Angus takes a couple touches forward. Now tries to loft it over. And the ball sent back. Scholl will have a touch. Back over for Notterman. Notterman with some space. Notterman to McDermott. McDermott makes the turn. Has it poked away. And a foul there by McDermott from behind. And another shoe that's come off. So that'll waste more time. And they will stop the clock now. It was going to take him two minutes to put that shoe on. I was going to say, <laughs> I think he was going to ask his mom to come out there and tie the shoes for him probably. <laughs> well, a 2-1 lead with under eight to go. You're going to see very deliberate, slow without pace a doubt, here by Without ADM. a doubt, without a doubt, yes. That was Meyer on the ground who lost his shoe. He's been battling the whole second half. Yeah, give him a lot of credit for sticking it out. He came off injured, it looked like. Didn't know if he'd go the second half, but he's been out there the full yeah. 32 and change here so far. K to take the free kick. K's going to send it deep down the middle, and the ball is going to be sent back. Fuller with a touch in the midfield. Now it's McDermott. Off for Kosravi. Kosravi finds Jackson. Jackson takes oh. a touch and another foul, and that's got to be a yellow. Yeah, yeah. That's. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Jackson's into the penalty area with no defender around him if yeah. that foul isn't given. Yeah. That was. Hopefully, Ben's okay. I can't see a number. The player's still down on the field. Not sure. Is that? Well, let's. We'll wait till he gets up. But that was. And again, a, a dangerous opportunity here for DCG. As the ADM player still struggling to 
get to his feet. And probably will be McDermott taking the free kick, trying to get something in around that six-yard area and see if Scholl or who knows who else has a chance to get ahead on this one. Maybe see somebody hovering right there at the top of the box as well to see if a second ball comes out. We can pepper one in there on a carom if we can't get a clean header from McDermott's service. As little as they've tried to do offensively, I would certainly be yeah. pushing one or two of my yeah. backline players forward here on a carom out yeah. just to keep it keep in it that in final there. third. Yeah, take a shot if you think about it, or if anything, just hold up possession a little bit and look for a seam to put it right back in there to one of your forwards. All right, getting him up here. Boy, and he looks yeah. still waiting on a number, and they're just going to take him to the far side of the field to might make be, his exit. Might be number four. Carson. Yeah, still not in a position where we can get a number. We'll see when they come around to the far side, but a substitution's made and the clock restarts. McDermott takes the free kick, sends it in. Good spot. Kosravi. Oh, oh, what nice, a save nice there is. Save by the keeper. I think actually that was Jackson on the header. Not for sure, but beautiful header, beautiful service, and a beautiful save. Shots on goal, certainly in DCG's favor. Yeah. But, again, yeah. you don't win with shots on goal. You yeah. win with shots in the net. Yeah. Bruck takes a touch. Now over to Kabamba. Let's go. Whistley looks to get forward. Whistley plays it into the middle, but right to an ADM midfielder. Just haven't connected well from yeah. the outside tonight. No. And there's... Nice job by Angus to poke it away. Now Modernock looks to drive it forward. Stein Smith tracks him down. Ball played there into the go. middle for Brock. Brock's Let's turning. Let's keep the pressure up. Now back to Modernock. Modernock looking for someone in the middle. Modernock takes another touch with his left. Modernock just couldn't quite find anybody to get it off his foot. And now DCG with players committed, able to track back. McDermott finds the ball. That ball poked away, and Jackson has it on his oh. foot, and another foul called. That's a, I mean, Kosravi clearly knocks the ball away, and again, it's Meyer going to ground to sell the foul, but that certainly looked like a clean, and yeah. it was Jackson off to the races the other direction. Yes, it was. Oh, we're down to. Kosravi's got to be careful, though. He's pretty animated after the no call, yeah. or, the, or the, the foul call. Scholl heads it away. Fuller tried to get a foot on it. Now it's Kosravi to McDermott, or to Brock, and Brock gives it away in the midfield. Unfortunately, that's been too much today, tonight. Now there's not connection. No, it's not. There's been still five to play, plenty of time. DCG just needs to build one up here out of the back connect something here's a ball sent in but right between Kosravi and Jackson yeah. there's Modernock able to win it nice job Colin just battling over Modernock there Modernock finds Fuller now Kosravi Kosravi finds Jackson he's offside yeah he was good vision there by Cyrus but yeah. Jackson just a step offside and we tick under five minutes now so free kick coming here for ADM as they set the ball. And they'll just send this one deep again, I'm sure. Well, they send it to the midfield well, and give it away. Nice. Here's McDermott tried to find Jackson. Now Notterman regains possession. They'll send it wide as they've kind of given the ball to Kabamba. Whistley has it taken away. Just... Trying to do too much. Yeah. I mean, just play simple. You need possession to score. And oh, they, they play, play on. on. ADM won't like that as they felt like McDermott made the foul. Jackson flings it up for McDermott. McDermott finds the net. You say offside.
the far side. AR raises the flag to take away the goal. The equalizer by McDermott Jackson could, with a pretty oh, flick there. It McDermott. was. I couldn't tell. Yeah, I'd have to go back and yeah. look at it. But, boy, what a pretty pass by Jackson yeah. and the one-touch finish by McDermott. Well, at least they let the play on. Here comes pressure. They get it out wide. Just playing a little keep away. McDermott pokes it away. Pressure being applied now. There we go. Now it's back to McDermott. McDermott pokes it through. There we go. He called Jackson. Going to stop it back for... Tried to find Fuller. Corner. And what? Fuller's going to swing it in with the left foot here. Let's swing it right in the goal. 3.15 clock running. Is Let's swing this one right in the goal. Fuller gets set. Here comes the in-swinger from Fuller off the left foot. Elevated, oh. and the ball headed out over top of the head Sh instead of. Scholl. Scholl had Mistime, a good. Mistimed his jump there. Looked like a little bit. And ended up hitting it through the goal post. So ADM has to kill the final three minutes here, and they'll walk out of here with a 2-1 victory. With a uh, kind of a free kick carom, and then, a, like you said, a banger from deep. And Still time, though. And it's an ADM throw on the far side. 2.30 to play. And that ball headed out of bounds, so a quick throw here by DCG. Throw in for Kostravi. Long ball played across the field. Notterman coming over to try to find Kabamba. Whistley trying to run onto it. Whistley's going to try and run by the defender. And Kab can't quite get there. And Ash doing a nice job. Yeah, nice hustle back by the ADM kid. And Ash talking smack to Kabamba, cradling him like a baby. So we've got a minute 50 to go. And ADM really starting to sense it now. Ball to the middle of the field. Shoal there. Sends it straight up into the air. Now Shoal trying to head it away, but to a foot of a Tiger player. This one finds the foot of Modernock. Modernock finds Jackson. Jackson a heavy first touch, but gets it back for a minute, but poked away. Jackson still working. And that ball kicked out of bounds. So DCG with a quick throw. And dispossessed. ADM with it. McDermott wins it back. And knocked out of bounds. Angus with a minute to play. Here's McDermott. Now Kosravi. That's going to go right back to Kosravi's foot. McDermott has it. McDermott. His ball deflected. Now it's Notterman. And that's going to be sent out deep. 40 seconds to go. Mendias. He'll have to send it long. Brock. 35 seconds. And that's... This work. Some contact from behind. Kostravi wanted the foul. And that's going to be... Probably the ball game. 20 seconds to go. The keeper has it in hand. And he's going to punt it. Not a great punt. Gets it to midfield. 13 seconds to go. McDermott with the header. And Modernock keeps it in play. And that ball That's sent out it. of bounds. And ADM's going to win it. Steals one here. The final seconds tick away. And ADM comes in. And I would say upsets. The Dallas Center guys, Mustangs, but maybe not an upset. I mean, this game was fairly evenly played, I would say. Uh, an unlikely banger of a goal for the second goal. And uh, ADM with a big victory here early in the season as DCG coming off dejected. But I'll tell you what, DCG had many, many they had, opportunities. They had their opportunities, a couple really nice saves there, uh, a couple nice – you know, caroms that went uh, ADM, ADM's way. And uh, I thought ADM the second half was more aggressive than the DCG boys, but um, we definitely held possession and had plenty of opportunities, just couldn't find the back of the net. 
Well, and you'll have soccer games like that. A lot of credit to Meyer for sticking it out, played the, fi the full 40 yep. minutes in the second half on a bum knee. A lot of credit. Kay did a really nice job, center back to keeper, who isn't listed on the program yeah, so as we number don't know one. His, we don't know his name. I but he had a, he had a really had nice, a nice save game. late. Ash and Stein Smith, good games for ADM, and they do just enough defensively here in the final. You know, the fi the ball was in the DCG half, yeah. the final 25 minutes of the game. They just could not get the ball in the net, and you know, sometimes games like this, you certainly want to win a game like this, sure. but you can also learn from it a this little is, bit too. This is probably a pretty good wake up call for yep. these boys that yep. they're yep. any any night, any any opponent. If, yeah. if you don't have the right stuff, uh, you know, you can lose a soccer match for yeah, sure. And without a doubt. DCG dominates shots on goal and comes away the uh, the loser in this one, a 2-1 victory for ADM. And uh, tomorrow, ADR, DCG tries to right the ship as they head up to Cedar Valley, and yeah. they'll take on Cedar Falls and Waterloo West. And then next week... They are on the road at Pella Christian, and then uh, they come here, I think, for Indianola, the second game next week. So yeah. four more games in the next week here yeah, for DCG, so no rest for the weary. Yeah. Well, then I think they turn around to another tournament right after the following weekend. So they, they'll get some, they're going to get some games in here Absolutely. in the next 10 days. So, Well, that'll do it here from Mustang Stadium in Dallas Center Grimes High School. It's 8 a.m., moving to 6-1, and one, a 2-1 victory over the DCG Mustangs as they slide to three and two. Join us back here for the match against Indianola at Mustang Stadium next week. And until then, everybody have a good week. Yep. Thank you.